So I decided to start a video on the installation of the ECK MF95 a little bit into the process. So this label covers the hole that was right here and I've already inserted the tube and screwed it in. So that's basically the first step after taking things off. There's this blob of foam that's stuck in that hole that, you know, they talk about it in the instructions as being a plug. It's just a, a block and it's all wadded up in there. So good luck getting it out. The foam was also not straight through the sleeve. So I had to kind of push the foam out of the way to be able to get this to line up straight. Looking at it from the inside, the first steps are to take the two screws that hold this plate that covers that. And you can see on the one side, it's just blocking where that tube comes through. That's your fill tube. The other, you've got to pull the wiring out for the wiring harness, which is a little tricky. And then you got these three screws on the side that you take out, basically just there for trim. You take those screws out and then you have the places where the fixture's gonna mount. And I bought this kit off of eBay. It's got all the original manufacturer stuff in it, but who knows if it's really made by Whirlpool or whoever they authorize. Here's the ice maker and the fill valve and tube. And so now we'll continue to the next step. So this thing comes with five different fill tube extensions. And good luck figuring out which one goes with which. You can see the different notes here. But if you look, the print also shows a five and six. So it's showing two different fill tubes. Well, I only have one fill tube. It's also showing fewer extensions. So I think that they've added extensions to avoid having to put two different size fill tubes in. So we will kind of skip to the next step and try to figure out for sure which one we need when we go to fit the ice maker in place. So you can see now as I hold this essentially over the screw locations, I only need one of the shorter fill tubes. I definitely don't need the longest one. So we'll see which one fits in there. And I'm assuming we want it to go all the way to the back so it covers that gap too. All right, so this is actually the shortest fill tube. And as you'll notice, you've got these couple of stops there and it really won't push past the first one. It might be possible to push it past, but I'm not gonna to try to force it. I think those are there intentionally. And so if I put the ice maker into place with that short fill tube, it pretty much that's hitting, I mean, it's bottoming out on the side of the uh, well there. That water's gonna squirt right in and go down. So that would appear to be the correct one for this setup. And by the way, here's the freezer that we're in. This is a upright model 20 UFC apparently, or this big long one. Okay, so the next step is to remove the cover and you need to be careful because it actually shows to remove all the screws on this panel, but then you read the little inset and it says, oh, if you've got a later model that just has the panel for mounting the, uh, the ice maker itself, you don't need to do that. So now we're just gonna take that one off. So once inside there, first thing we find is this little wad of paper with instructions. And then, unfortunately my battery's getting low, so uh, you can see the wiring back there. And pull carefully on that piece of wire that's held in there by another piece of tape. And you can get it out so that you can hook up. So on this unit then, you just plug it in and to shove those back in properly, but you can see the couple of screw holes right there. So this just mounts right to that so that this fitting, which is where your water inlet will go to, is exposed. 
And then this is the hose that actually goes up the side, which they actually give you directions to prep the hose first. That's kind of silly. It's like, get this mounted, then run the hose up the side and see where it goes. So we'll screw this in place. And I don't know if that cover actually will go back on. I don't think so in this case. In my unit, we have a bit of a design problem. I've already pushed on a little bit. But that piece of copper tubing from the compressor is right where that connector has to go. So that's a problem. And the other part of this is that this tube actually the the bottom of the solenoid has to be inside there as well so i think i'm going to have to pull this screw down here as well to be able to get that whole thing in there cleanly and then you're, you route it through and it's got this little clip and so that's to guide it so that should be outside but that's got to be inside so fun days well, because of this expansion and dryer tube being right in the way of that connector, I ended up having to open the whole thing up so I can kind of push on it a little bit and get things in the right spot. So now, when I push this right there, that connector is still sitting right on top of that. Hope it doesn't vibrate too much, but there's really not much chance of bending it down. I'm gonna, maybe if I push this out of the way first, then now I can push that a little bit. Just gotta be very careful because if I break these copper pipes, that's the end of my refrigerator or freezer. And so these are machine screws, but they're actually self tapping machine screws. The holes aren't tapped because that would have cost some money. So you have to have a drill driver to be able to get that to go in. You're not going to do it by hand. But once you do that, then it's fine. And so that's in there, not perfectly straight, but that, as long as I can get the cover on, that should be good. Uh, again, we're virtually butting up against that dryer tube. And it does actually talk about this and talks about wire wrapping the whole mess over to the side on some of the models, but that's not going to work on this because it's that's too stiff. You can also see where they kind of burned all the insulation soldering it. And but that's what we're dealing with, so it should work. Hopefully it doesn't vibrate too badly. Alright, well my phone died before I was able to finish. I went ahead and finished the assembly, but I'll go through. So we were working on this, but I had to take the full panel off and be prepared to slice yourself pretty good when you go to put the panel back on. And it's a bit of a bear to get back into place because you got to tuck these pieces under. And there's actually two layers of metal spot welded together here and what was happening is this would catch between the two pieces and then wouldn't go all the way in but i eventually got it back and then so you have your tube you route and you put a couple of these little clips in and that goes into here there's a little metal insert the directions talk about a plastic insert that you're supposed to remove out of here well there's nothing in there there's a little metal insert and the addendum in the kit says metal insert. And then you've got the clamp that you clamp it down with. And then the final steps of installing this are pretty straightforward. You simply take those two screws that are the three quarter inch, so the longer screws, and you put them in just a little bit so that they're hanging out and you can just hang it on there. And then you've got one screw underneath. They said to use one of their, their hex screws, but I used one of the nice white ones. Not that anybody will ever see it. And that leaves you there. I guess I could have put a couple of those white pieces back in there just to trim that. But again, who really cares? If I get bored at some point, I might come back and do that. And then finally, you just have your tray. Now, the one
one thing, all the pictures show this fridge or this freezer having a step in the shelf to hold that in place. Now there is a little black insert. I didn't see anything about it, but I'm wondering if I dig through this, there's a little rubber piece. And I'm kind of thinking that this little piece goes in there. Maybe, eh, it didn't really fit very well. It might fit on the, the shelf that way. But it doesn't seem right either. So I was thinking maybe that was intended to be a guide, but no evidence of it. I'll look through the directions and see if there's anything mentioned, but they're pretty sparse and they're a little too universal for my taste. But with that, we have this done.